everybody, this is Rachel with There's a Girl in the Gardens. I am in my indoor garden today, and today I wanna to share with you eight tips for repotting plants for beginners. First, I just wanted to say thank you to anybody that has watched one of my videos or liked it or commented, or definitely anyone that has subscribed. I set a goal for myself to get 100 subscribers on YouTube when I first started this channel, and I'm almost there. So if you would consider subscribing, I would really appreciate it. So my top eight tips for repotting a house plant. This is a normal common English ivy and she is beautiful and long. She lives in the kitchen and her name is actually Maud Lebowski. She lives next to another house plant whose name is Bunny Lebowski. My first tip would be to repot your plants at the beginning of the growing season. That would be typically spring. The plant is going dormant right now. If you repot it in the springtime, it has more energy to be able to send into new root growth into its new home. But the second best time to repot your plant is when you think about it. So that's the time that we're going with as it's almost the end of October. Okay, tip number two would be to choose an appropriate pot for whatever you're planting. Um, English ivy doesn't need any special requirements from what I can tell, just to stay moderately moist. He loves that plant. It just wants to stay moderately moist. So I have gone with this beautiful hanging planter by a company called Root and Vessel. This is their Napa hanging bowl planter. And I just wanna say this is not sponsored in any way. I actually bought this with my own money and it has a reservoir at the bottom of the planter, which I thought was pretty cool. If I accidentally overwater it, this reservoir should hold on to the extra water and there's a wick in there that will let the roots wick up the water as it needs it. So that's, that's pretty cool. If you have a plant that likes a little more drainage, you may want to consider a regular terracotta pot. That is a porous material that would allow oxygen to flow in and out and let your plant's roots breathe a little bit and also help it drain quicker. Tip number three would be to choose the correct soil, also depending on your plant. I'm gonna go with the miracle Grow Indoor Potting Mix again. If you're planting a succulent or a palm tree, something like that, you would want a potting mix specifically for that kind of plant. Um, there are different potting mixes for all kinds of different plants. There's one for African violets, there's a cactus and palm mix, there's an orchid bark, that wants actually so much drainage, it's almost more like a bark situation. So just depending on your plant, you could just do a little research and figure out the best soil for you. Tip number four is about getting your plant out of the actual pot that she's in. I like to squeeze the sides to kind of loosen the plant up. I'm just trying to be really careful with her stems and stuff. But I'm just squeezing it all over to loosen, loosen the plant inside this pot and hopefully she'll come out a lot easier. I am really excited to see how root bound this plant is because I know it's gotta be, but I'm just not sure how much. I'm gonna flip her all the way upside down. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit more. If you're not able to get her out just by squeezing on the pot, then I like to use a little spatula. And we can just go on the inside of the pot and just kind of run it all the way around the sides. actually unclip these which I did not know but that's gonna make this a lot easier <laughs> try not to damage it because I want to use this pot again there we go All right. so let's take our spatula all right I think we're getting somewhere Took the top with it.
Okay, I got it. This is an example of a root bound plant. Starting to spiral at the bottom. And this was gonna bring me to point number five, which is don't be afraid to tease the roots. I watched a video from Noelle at Petitas and she must have cut two inches off of the root ball of this peace lily. So don't be afraid to rough up your roots or do what you need to do. Just be brave and you will get through it. I set my plant down over here because I filled up my pot with potting soil. And then what I like to do is stick your plant in the pot when you have the soil in it, kind of mash it down. The goal is to get something that looks like this. I hope you can see that. But there is a big space where your plant can go. It helps to moisten the soil before you do this. I put the soil in there and then put my plant in there and moistened around. So I made a nice little space for this plant. I'm just gonna lift her into this little hole and she nestles right down in there. Tip number six is to tamp down the soil and squeeze any air pockets from it. And that gives your plant just a good chance for their roots to connect to the soil and start thriving in their new home. Tip number seven is to leave a lip around the pot. Don't fill your pot all the way to the top with soil. You wanna leave like a three quarter inch or an inch lip around it. So when you water, the water gets to your plant and doesn't just roll right off the sides. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm not sure if you can see, but there's about an inch lip on this pot. Once you've tamped all the air, out of the soil and made sure that you have that lip around it. The last tip, tip number eight, is to give your plant a good, nice long drink. So I already moistened the soil and now I'm going to just kind of get the top layer so it all blends together. Those are my eight tips for repotting a plant as a beginner. I'm really glad that I got this done, even though it is October. And I just wanted to thank you guys, as always, so much for watching. I hope that you'll consider subscribing. And I look forward to seeing you in the garden again sometime very soon. Bye.